In today's video, we're going to very briefly talk about photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is a chemical reaction which is occurring in plants. And what these plants do in order to obtain glucose, which they require for energy, they undergo this process which is called photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is where the chloroplasts, which contain a substance called chlorophyll, absorb the sunlight that they're receiving and they use this energy to convert carbon dioxide which they get from the air through the leaves and water which they get from the roots and it converts this carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen so the equation for this is carbon dioxide plus water using the energy from sunlight gives glucose or sugar and oxygen this is the main principle behind photosynthesis. However, there are some factors which affect the rate of photosynthesis, and these are called rate limiting factors. So depending on the amount of carbon dioxide available, this affects the rate of photosynthesis. So if there's very low amounts of carbon dioxide, the plant will not be able to photosynthesize at a high rate because there isn't much carbon dioxide. However, if there's more carbon dioxide, they'd be able to photosynthesize faster. Another factor includes the amount of light available. So regardless to how much carbon dioxide and water the plant has available, if there's not enough sunlight which provides the energy for this conversion or this chemical reaction, the rate of photosynthesis will not be as fast. And finally, temperature also plays another role in the rate of photosynthesis. So at low temperatures, the plant is not able to photosynthesize at a high rate. Uh, and at too high temperatures, it'll get too hot and the plant is also not able to photosynthesize at high rates. So there's usually a middle value, which is the optimal rate for photosynthesis.